Well, celebration of love and romance in Niagara Falls today as a dozen couples tie the knot in civil ceremonies for Valentine's Day. The one day wedding extravaganza included a couple who suffered through a painful separation due to pandemic travel restrictions. Matt Ingram was there, didn't get married, but has this story. By the virtue of the powers vested in me by the Marriage Act of Ontario, do hereby pronounce you, Matt and Mac, to be married. You may celebrate your marriage with a kiss. And with that, a 12-year relationship becomes a lifelong commitment. Mac Medina from the U.S. and Matt Yeager from Toronto couldn't see each other for a year and a half due to the pandemic border shutdown. But during that separation, Matt staged a romantic show of love from the falls that Mac was able to see from across the Niagara Gorge, cementing the city's place in their love story. During that time frame, I moved all the way up from uh, Texas to Tonawanda. Uh, and then when I got here, Matt surprised me and said, drive to the gorge. From the American side, Mac saw Matt holding a large red heart made of construction paper. And was waving it from across the gorge, and we saw each other and I started <laughs> crying. The people around me were crying, Matt was crying. So this place has always held a special significance for us. They would eventually reunite on the Rainbow Bridge. The couple usually celebrates Valentine's Day, so they decided to make it their wedding day too. It was always just a day to go out and have a, a great meal together and celebrate our relationship and love. Especially since the city was staging a special day of ceremonies. We just anticipated uh, a lot of interest for people wanting to get married today, and we didn't want to turn anyone away. City Clerk Bill Matson says a dozen weddings are scheduled, half here at the Niagara Falls History Museum, and the rest at City Hall. The most we've ever done in a day so far is three. The city says the wedding day blitz is intended to demonstrate affordable alternatives for getting hitched in the falls. Matt Ingram, CHCH News, Niagara Falls.